Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. According to Sid's intel, that's where those settlers are being held. We should check it out. I do not detect life in our immediate vicinity. Hmm. Let's head in, but stay sharp. My sister may have missed something in her investigations. Looks like no one's home. I swear if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. Case of mistaken identity? I'm just as lost as you are. It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. So you were helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. It's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help I'm getting anyone. out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. Vetra seems really you agitated. Have to believe me. I've it's no idea me doubt what's going on. I'm going I, uh, to get answers. But I hope first this all gets sorted get out, out here. soon. There was some mention of you being a Nexus exile? Yeah. I'm not proud of it. When we first got here, things were bad. Real bad. It was all too easy to start scapegoating the initiative. 
When the revolt happened, I joined. But things aren't better on Kadara. More out there on your own. Thanks to Vetra, I got a second chance to do things right. I wish I knew what he was talking about. Tell me more about Meriwether. She used to be some kind of military surveyor. Now, she's a gang leader and smuggler. Working for her was all right at first. Then, uh, she started doing things we didn't agree with. But you don't just quit working for Meriwether. We needed someone to help hide us. Now, Meriwether's convinced we're scheming against her, or something. You said Vetra helped you. How exactly? Some of us were trying to get off Kadara. She must have heard about it through contacts. She reached out to us, made up assignments at the outposts. That got us free. We didn't meet her in person, only over comms. Maybe it was never really her. Yeah, thank. Anyway, we thought Meriwether would let us go. We were wrong. Do you know what Meriwether plans to do with us? We were always bait for Vetra. Now that Vetra's here, Meriwether has no use for us. And for Vetra, most likely revenge. Meriwether doesn't care for people who meddle in her business. Nothing good in store for anyone, I'm certain. How did Meriwether get a base on this moon? She made friends on Kadara. Some Angarans who told her about this place. It was a mine or something. Got damaged and abandoned. It was perfect for Meriwether. She wanted to strike out on her own, away from Sloan. We put a lot of work into this place. Carved out a niche, doing things even Sloan won't touch. There'll be time to talk later. I knew Meriwether was going to find us. I knew it. I don't even know how long we've been here. Door controls are not accessible from here, Pathfinder. There has to be a way out. I can open the doors from my end, but they're powered down. We need to get them going again. Your end? Who are you? I don't like the sound of this, Ryder. Just get those doors some power! It appears functional. No way to know until we try. That cable's not going to get power to that door. These might connect the door to the generator. I'm directing security cam footage to that panel. You'll be able to see the guards coming. If you wait till they go by, you could surprise them.
What the hell? Where are the prisoners? Are they gone? Is it safe? They didn't see you. Stay here, and we'll take care of them. Ryder, watch out! I think they're trying to get clever. Care of it. We should check if the colonists are okay. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you think I don't recognize my own tricks and stop using my voice? Sorry, it was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid's sister. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. Sid, I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? If she can tell us what we're up against, that'll be a big help. See? Fine. But she has to follow my instructions. Can you do that, Sid? Yes, Vetra. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Head down the corridor, through the mess hall. That's quickest. Before we go farther, are you in a safe spot? Yeah, I'm tapped into their system from outside. Shuttle's well hidden. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Did he? You know your sister was messing about impersonating you? Do you think I would have let her if I knew? This explains a bunch of the strange reactions I've gotten from some of my associates. Shit. I have no idea what else she's done in my name. Sid, can you see- Sid, we're going to need you to hack into systems to cause a disruption. Right. Only one. Get in and get out. Too much messing around and they'll track you down. I can send a surge of power to that generator. The electrical discharge from that could take out some of them. Ryder? Overload that generator as I walk through the door. You got it. Someone answer me! 
Galloway, stay where you are. There's guards in the corridor right by you. They're moving on. Okay? Good. You're clear. Thanks, Sid. That was a close one. That's a lot of animals. They could be training them as a security measure. If they're still feral, they could soften up those guards for us. Then again, they might also attack us. They have a fiend? I can't open that cage. Remote access is disabled. They probably don't want accidents. Those animals should thin out some of our opposition. Unlocking cage? This is gonna be hilarious. Why are the dogs out? Merryweather's gonna throw a fit. We gotta do it. Turrets. Those might be a problem. I could turn them off or change the attack protocols. Workshop next. That's the direct way out. There's a rat in the system. I want this rat caught. Double the rations for anyone that does it. If that engine has a charged core, it might explode. I could dump out whatever's in those tanks. That stuff cuts right through shields. If we're not careful, that'll hurt both them and us. Looks like you've got loads of options. Disable the Hydra armor. I don't want to fight that thing. You got it, Pathfinder.
guys did stuff like this, but helping you do it? It's different. That's why I never wanted you involved in the things I did. You can't have excitement and adventure. Sid, what do we have coming up? Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. I think I gotta... Oh no! Sid! Sid, come in! They found her. They're gonna kill her! Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid. So, so stupid. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Watch out! They're coming straight for us! Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Petra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Come on, that's a kid you got there. She's not a threat. Let her go. She hacked my security. She's as tall as you are. Guns on the ground.
right? Are you hurt? I... I'm fine. I think. Let's get you to your shuttle. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can help. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. That was intense. Are you alright? Fine. I just need some time to think. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Petra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Okay. We're talking. Now what? Put your weapons on the ground. So this is what you're all about? Kidnapping? Threatening children? That's what you came to Helios for? You can still do what's right. Turn off the explosive. There's no right or wrong anymore. Just survival. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can help. That's not your decision to make, Sid. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. Sounds like you're going to need a long talk. Before I even attempt to talk, she'll need some time to think. We both do. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? <sighs> 